Hey guys, Jim Grant here for MON TV, and we're back at SHOT Show 2022. This time for our third installment of the SHOT Show Roundup. So today's five products are vastly different and pretty badass. So let's start with a fantastic one right out the rip. Brownells just announced a BR180 upper in 7.62x39. Yes! Glorious, comrade, glorious! No, but for, for real though, that's fantastic. With the introduction of their BRN180, and for those of you out there who don't know, it is basically a modernized version of the Armalite AR18 slash AR180, and is a piston-driven, super reliable, smooth shooting upper that replaces the standard upper on an AR15. So, in the same way, this new BRN180 in 76239 still utilizes a standard AR15 lower. It'll feed from ASC style 76239 magazines, and the upper will retail for $969. Now, in terms of availability, it's on their website right now, but it says back order, which usually means it's not quite ready, but we expect it within the next couple of months. All right, so why should you care? Well, even with the Russian ammo import ban, 76239 is still not terribly expensive, and it is a very, very cool caliber to suppress, especially now that a couple companies are offering subsonic ammo. It's kind of a poor man's 300 blackout, and it is very ballistically similar to 300 blackout, at least in terms of the supersonic ones. So this is very, very exciting out there, and hopefully somebody makes a lower that uses AK magazines in the near future that would be compatible with it, because if that comes out, oh man, that would be awesome. Anyway, that brings us to number two, the Aimpoint Acro P2. Now, they actually announced this just before SHOT Show 2022, but now at SHOT, we finally got to get our eyes on it, and it's pretty damn cool. For those of you unfamiliar with the Acro, the Acro is a fully enclosed micro red dot designed for use on both handguns, shotguns, and carbines. It weighs in at 2.1 ounces and has a 50,000 hour runtime, which is amazing. The Acro utilizes a 3.5 MOA red dot and features four night vision settings as well as six daytime settings. The Aimpoint Acro is available right now and has an MSRP of $599. Why should you care? Well, it's another super, super long lasting red dot in a compact size that will fit on either an RMR compatible handgun or like a Benelli M2 shotgun, something that you can really, really utilize a low profile, but, but still durable and long lasting reflex sight. And that brings us to number three, the SDS Imports Zagana PX3 Gen 3. Now, if you've never seen these guns before, they're imported from Turkey. They look very, very inspired by the XD9 from Springfield, but unlike the XD, these guns actually feed from SIG P226 style magazines, and they include both an 18 and a 20 round magazine in the box. The latest model also features a half by 28 threaded barrel and a standard RMR cut up top, so you've got yourself a perfect suppressor host for very, very little money. The Zagana is available right now and will retail for $579. And that brings us to number four, and my personal favorite of this day, the Kalashnikov USA KR-101. Now, whether this is in response to the ammunition ban from Russia or not, who knows, but it's completely badass that Kalashnikov USA is releasing an AK-101 replica or clone for the US market. This means that it will feature a 74 style break and all the AK-100 series accoutrements that you would expect from a replica of a 100 series AK. Things like the 24 millimeter right hand threaded gas block, the rear folding trunnion with a polymer stock, and the fact that the gun uses a and the gun will feature the Polymer 100 series 5.56 AK magazines, which were pretty much unobtainium until this gun arrived. There's no word yet on MSRP or availability, but I would suspect given the price of the recent KR-103 they released, the gun will probably retail for between $1,200 and $1,300, maybe $1,500, maybe. And either way, it's an absolute steal, especially compared to the prices that Arsenal's are commanding right now, which is well over double that. And that brings us to number five, kind of the oddball of shot, and I'm sure Ian McCullen is over the moon about this gun. That is the Navy Arms FRF2. Now, if you've never heard of this gun before, you'd be forgiven, but it's basically a modernized, accurized version of the standard French infantry rifle, the Mass 36, that existed in the 1950s at the kind of a peak of the Cold War. It's a 308 bolt action rifle feeding from a 10 round magazine with a 24 inch barrel. And it looks like something somebody built in their garage at first glance, but it's actually really cool. And whether or not you're a Francophile or into military surplus arms from France, the fact that we're finally getting our grubby mitts one here in the United States is phenomenal. 
Availability is right now, and it retails for, and this is, this is a big one, $6,920. So you better really, really want one if you want to pick one up. Well, that wraps it up for SHOT Show 2022 Day 3. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for continued coverage. And if you want me to cover anything in particular, again, by all means, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your five picks. Tell me my picks are awful, great, whatever. Just leave a comment in there for sure so I know you guys are still alive out there. Thanks, guys. For MON TV, I'm Jim Grant. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.